Welcome to episode 16 of Algo Trading Series from Market Secrets. In this episode, we are going to learn how to code Keltner Trading System. So let's get into the setup. This is a slightly complicated strategy. We will be using Keltner Band Code to take buying, selling, shorting and covering decisions. Keltner Band is kind of similar to Bollinger Band in structure, but the parameters are different. So when we talk about buy condition, we will buy when high of the candle crosses the Keltner top band and we will short when Keltner bottom band crosses low of the candle and we will sell when Keltner mid band crosses the low of the candle and we will cover when high of the candle crosses Keltner mid band. So these are our trade conditions. So let's begin with script setup now. So the first part of the script is self-explanatory. These are used for setting up the chart title and assign value to the parameters to be used for backtesting, which we have already discussed in detail in the previous episodes. So I'm skipping this part. The next six lines are used for assigning parameters for the Keltner band code. This is simple direct assignment using moving average, ATR value and multipliers. So if you look at here, we are using 20 moving average and we are using ATR along with K factor, which is nothing but your multiplier, which is two. So we are using these three values to create the Keltner band code. We have discussed in lengths about ATR. So if you have any queries on ATR, please refer our YouTube channel. ATR is a very, very important item when it comes to trading. So this six line of code is very critical because it will get us the top band, bottom band and mid band of Keltner band code. Now the next three lines are used to print the current value of all three Keltner bands in the chart. This will be visible at the top of the chart. So if you look at here, you will get the current uh, top, mid and bottom band values in the chart. Now the next three lines are used to plot all three Keltner bands in the charts. Here we are just calculating the value. So we need to plot it. And these three lines of code are used to plot it in the chart. The next part is very crucial one. And we'll be using the Keltner band values to take the buying, selling, shorting and covering decisions. So we will buy when high of the candle crosses Keltner top band. And we will short when Keltner bottom band crosses low of the candle. And we will sell when Keltner mid band crosses the low of the candle and we will cover when high of the candle crosses the Keltner mid band. So these are our trading conditions. Now the next four lines are used to assign the buying, selling, shorting and covering prices. So at what price you are going to enter into these trades. So that will be assigned in these four lines. And now the next four lines are used to remove the excess buying, selling, shorting and covering signals. So you cannot have more than one trade in one symbol at the same time. So these four lines of code will ensure that purpose. And these four lines are used to print the buying, selling, shorting and short covering prices. And this last part of code is used to plot the shapes like stars up and down arrows in the chart whenever there is a buy, sell, shorting and short covering signals. So if you look at the chart, you will be able to spot the buy, sell and shorting and short covering signals using the stars and the up and down arrows or red and green arrows. So moving on to backtest, you can also run a backtest on this code. I'm going to run the backtest on Nifty and Bank Nifty for a period of six months on this particular code. And this backtest is being executed on a Harley time frame and we'll only be taking the long positions. So I'm going to run the backtest now. So if you look at the results, this strategy generates approximately 15.5 lakh profits on a capital of two lakhs in six months. And if you go to the reports, you will be able to see the annualized returns. So this strategy almost generates 5000 percentage annual returns smoothly. So let's change the time frame here. So I'm going to change the time frame. So I'm going to switch it to a 15 minute chart and I'm running the back test again. So if you look at the results in 15 minutes time frame, the strategy is able to generate approximately 14.5 lakh profits on a capital of 2 lakh rupees in 6 months. And once again, if I go to the reports, I'll be able to see the annualized returns, which is around 4,400 percentage. The numbers are once again mind blowing, isn't it? Well, that's the power of algo trading. 
you can play around the parameters that we have used in this strategy to optimize the returns further. So you can change the time frame, you can change the type of position you want, you can change the symbols in which you want to apply this particular strategy, or you can even change the parameters that we have used for the Keltner band code. So you can play around with all these numbers and then you can arrive at an optimized strategy which can be readily deployed. So do give this a try and let us know in case of any questions. Also, if you have any queries, comments or feedback about this episode, feel free to drop it down in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer it. Hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.